Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So we are doing the monthly Oracle card guidance for May 2023. And we have three decks here, three options. Uh, it's the Ask Your Guides deck, the Messages from Your Spirit Guides and Trust Your Vibes. So go ahead, make a selection, either one, two or three, and you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we asking, what is your monthly Oracle card guidance for May 2023? What is your monthly Oracle card guidance for May just put these cards in and if they come out again then they obviously are meant for you it very often happens that they come out when um you you they have popped out while i've been shuffling and then they come out again so let's see if that happens here okay As those of you who are my followers for a long time, you would know that I don't read the um, the cards reversed unless they tarot cards. So the cards we have here for the month of May 2023, for those of you who've chosen option one, is Life Force and the, uh, the Goddess Aphrodite, Self Control, and the card, and that's from your higher self. And we have Competition and the Warrior Guides, and then we have Celebration Joy Guides. Now, for some of you, this will work in a chronological order, and it will show you what you'll experience as the month goes by but for some of you it might work in a different order it might be that that you you experience some of the celebration at the beginning of the month or sometime in the middle of the month as opposed to at the end of the month although I do feel that at the end of the month there's something that you would have achieved that will give you true cause to celebrate okay whereas at the beginning of the month you will feel like you still need to be able to um, move your life force into gear okay or into a different gear so as we start off the month of may you're going to feel that you might need to uh, re-establish certain rhythms. You might feel that you need to re-engage your life force. Perhaps you've been doing one thing for a little bit too long and you've come into a particular routine and it's difficult to kind of um, restart or or boost your, your life force. And as a result, you're going to be seeking different rhythms, different forms of inspiration, uh, whether it be through physical exercise or through uh, just invigorating your body or whether it be through um, being creative, allowing your creative juices to flow or perhaps trying to um, re-establish your life force by moving in a particular direction that you have not done as yet. Okay, so just somehow doing something for yourself that is bringing you deeper into your strength and more into your well-being all right now I, I see this card it comes along with self-control or higher self and i feel that as you're as you come into the second week of may from the week of the 8th of may onward you might start to feel like as you come into that week and through that week that you need to engage your self-control you need to be more disciplined in order to be able to maintain a routine perhaps you've had lots of interruptions perhaps it it has it's not been possible for you to just being able to settle down and just work on something it could also be that as you come into that second week of may it's like you're waiting for something um that 
is like a mountain that you need to climb and you're waiting for that to pass by. And once you've done that, then you are free to do something else. So it might be that you have a deadline at the end of the first week of May or, or the beginning of the second week of May, or you have something that's kind of big, a big deal to you that you might need to surpass in order to be able to um, become more disciplined, to become more, to reestablish that rhythm that you have sought to establish in the first week of May in order to be able to fully uh, enjoy your life force and also to be able to um, go deeper into your strength. I know I said that already, but I just want to re-emphasize that because I feel here that there's, the strength has been lacking. So it's like there's been a lot of movement uh, that you've been into and it looks like arms waving in the air, but there's not been that core strength that's been developed. That's not been the the, the leg strength that's developed or the the you know, the muscles in the leg, for instance. And I'm just using that as an analogy. For some of you, that might be literal, but for others, it's, you know, if you see a, a, a human being kind of just um, their, their arms waving, flailing in the air, uh, and you there's a, a lot of tightness or a lot of a weakness even in the in the legs, in the, in the lower half of the body. So the feeling that I'm getting for the first two weeks of May is that you're going to need to bring that strength and ground yourself with it and work on strengthening yourself in places that you've not been able to until now. And this is all leading up to something that happens in the third week of May, where there's going to be some kind of resolutions of sort, where you might be able to finish something that you've been eyeing for a long time, that you might have been able to um, work on something perhaps. Uh, it's very much about work. It's very much about being engaged in a commercial pursuit or perhaps being engaged in something that's creative that's also linked to some commercial value. And as you enter the week, the third week of May, you're going to find that you're in the groove, that you have had the self-control, that you have reignited your life force and you are in the groove. You are being fired up by these warrior guides and you are able to do a lot more than you've been able to do perhaps for quite a long time. It might be for some of you a few weeks, for some of you a few months. You're able to just deeply engage and deeply work on whatever it is that your heart desires and what it is that is before you or what it is that's for you rather. And you're going to be able to make some accomplishments in this regard and it's going to... Um, fire up your competition. You're going to be looking at how others, your peers do it and how you will do it. And there's quite a lot of inspiration that comes from that as well. As you begin the month of May and as you proceed through it, there's not really a feeling of wanting to be better. There's just really a feeling of wanting to do just to kind of survive or just to kind of manage what you can do or just to cope and then as you get into week three of May you're gonna feel like oh I can I can actually do so much better now and I can compete and I can I can move myself in a different direction and I can I've moved away from any kind of kind of feeling of uh, stagnation or any kind of feeling of perhaps laziness or something that has been, you know, avoidance, you know, perhaps it's not really been laziness, but it manifests in that way. But there's an avoidance that you, that there is, um, that plagues you perhaps, that you need to have that self-control to overcome in order to be able to get into that space where there is a competition. And as you come around to the end of May, it's going to be such a lovely time for you because you are going to be able to share what you've achieved in the month of May, as well as something within yourself that you've achieved, something quite personal to yourself. So, you know, taking this analogy of this human that has a weak core and weak uh, uh, lower half and that person trying to strengthen that and that being quite personal to them trying to work on those things you know perhaps uh, to use a more metaphoric 
um, example, you know, perhaps you have difficulty engaging with other people, or perhaps you have difficulty grounding yourself. Maybe you like to move a lot or to talk a lot or to do a lot of social engagements, but you don't spend a lot of time with yourself and, and doing what you need to have done. And I feel that as you come to the end of May, you have managed to do that and you have dedicated time to doing that, perhaps in the second week. And it's actually quite um, it's quite a, an achievement for you. I feel like you, you really are going to be celebrating more than one thing as you come to the end of May. You are going to be in a space where you're feeling you like you've achieved something, you've uh, succeeded, you're on top of this, you've got this, you know, it's, it's a lot of that kind of energy as you come to the, to the end of May, and you are going to be able to share this with people, you're going to be able to see people and engage with them and spend time with them and um, be able to just truly celebrate what you have in those places. Uh, people that you are going to be spending time with uh, um, as you come to the end of May. Now, just once again, as you enter May, it might be that you're just trying to build up your life force. You're just trying to um, rest enough in order to regain your life force. And if you are concerned about that, uh, don't be. It's something that it's absolutely natural. You might need to rest in the whole week of May. You might feel quite tired uh, and you might just need to do things like self-care, um, you know, perhaps l baths or just lay down and just perhaps read if you can um, and just relax and not actually uh, allow any kind of anxiety that might be plaguing you to come into that equation. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I can see that you're going to have quite a good month in May, that you are going to meet certain milestones and that you are going to make um, some headway in terms of certain things that you'd like to achieve and that's going to leave you quite happy at the end of the month and that's always a wonderful reading so I do hope you enjoy your month of May and that it is a brilliant month for you okay much love and many blessings to you and for those of you who've chosen the second option we're using the messages from your animal spirit guides uh, oracle cards from Stephen D. Farmer and we're asking what can we expect in the month of May and what guidance do we have for the month of May? In other words, what is our Oracle card guidance for the month of May 2023? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, and we, we've asked, what is your Oracle card guidance for May 2023? Now, normally I read these cards as week one, week two, week three, and week four, but I'm guided here to talk about the energy for the month of May, because I feel like many of you will experience this in various different orders. So the cards we have here are the platypus, the wolverine, the roadrunner, and the chimpanzee. There's different guidance to all of them. They all have a different significance. So the platypus, um, it reads here, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. And then the wolverine is, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. And roadrunner is it reads, keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously. And then chimpanzee is use both your situation and your intellect to solve the problem 
or get answers to your question. Okay. Now, for many of you, I feel like you'll start the month with that, with the question and where to find it, or the energy of the Wolverine, where you kind of, um, the, the feeling I get is that you've been at it for a long time. It's like you've been foraging or looking for food for a very long time, and you're getting more and more depleted, and you're not able to reach your goal. You're not able to get the sustenance that you need and so it's almost like you are really really tired but just pushing on so I don't know if that resonates for some of you if not all it probably doesn't resonate with all of you so just bear with me here I'm just trying to read there's lots of different energies here and I, I can feel that many of you who have chosen these cards will have quite a different experience for me so um, I'm just trying to speak about it in a way that will I you will be able to resonate with but for some of you you might feel that you, you definitely don't resonate with everything I say but just just bear with me in any case I feel like um, these two cards if you are we are going to read it chronologically it actually really makes a difference in in terms of the the way in which we approach the month so the the guidance here is stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life and i think that some of you might be coming from april with quite a lot of stress and this might lead you to not complain so much or some of you might might be complaining but just to be um kind of seeking some solitude some um kind of feeling of being relieved of something you know, just being relieved of the stress, being relieved of the responsibility or being not not having to make a decision, not having to think about things too much. And I feel like, you know, if you are complaining at all, it comes from that. It comes from the fact that you're not able to stop and just smell the roses and just be with yourself and just be able to connect to a, a higher force that's good that is because you're so concentrated on what's not been going well because you, perhaps you've had to troubleshoot perhaps you've had to save the day many times recently or perhaps you've been responsible for a whole lot of people a whole lot of things and that's just gotten you down okay and then as we go into the week number two it's a reminder that you are a lot tougher than you think you are you might be feeling like quite empty or quite lost in a way because you haven't been on this train of adrenaline that's been pumping through you as you've been problem solving or trying to figure out how to do things and I feel like here um, when you the roadrunner it's you know it's reminding you that you need to enjoy life as well you need to actually smell the roses you need to just pause and enjoy life you need to be able to see the human things you need to not take life so seriously because it just doesn't make sense when you do when you do that it just you kind of lose the the plot if you're just working all the time and it's all about deadlines and it's all about you know focusing on that and just getting that done and you're forgetting important milestones in your life or you you're forgetting about the value of friendship or the value of relationships with regard to friends or colleagues or or family and you just focused on work all the time in order to achieve something it's like you're chasing your tail and you're not really getting anywhere with that, with that really you might be making great progress uh, with your bank account or with your or you're trying to make a great progress with your bank account but you might be making quite a lot of progress in terms of um, how you feel about yourself with regard to your work but you're not able to fill the other pockets um, that need to be filled as well at the end of the day you might feel, find yourself making a lot of headway with regard to your work but you might find yourself feeling quite empty especially in the third week of may you might feel that you've lost an opportunity that you've been allowed anxiety perhaps to take over and to manage a certain aspect of your life and as a result you've perhaps lost an opportunity to do something that you might have wanted to do uh, in the first week or the second week uh, in the early part of the second week of May. Now I feel here that um, if you are doing this reading just go ahead and do what it is that you think you may regret because it will just save a lot even if you think you don't have enough energy for it you don't have enough finances for it because the card here reads you are a lot tougher than you think 
So the worry is that you might take this action or you might do this thing that you are now planning not to do, okay? Uh, and then you might regret it because perhaps you've spent too much of money or too much of time. You might beat yourself up about it. So you're avoiding it all together. Perhaps it's a holiday you have to take with your family or your friends, or perhaps it's some event that you need to celebrate, or perhaps it's just about spending time with people who are there at a given moment. And um, whatever it is, that could be one of the scenarios that plague you or are hounding you at the moment and the idea is not to complain just to see all the blessings in your life as proposed here and to remind yourself that you are going to be better off regardless um, you might have a lot of fear around taking a particular action but you need to just suspend yourself in a state of trust and and faith and understand that things will be taken care of of course you need to be responsible and you need to take action to, uh, to ensure your well-being, but you need to allow yourself to have a well-being, not just in the way that your anxiety is suggesting that that is the solution, but rather in a way that comes from love and that comes from a good space in you that's not fearful of money, that's not fearful of the loss of time, etc. It's coming from a good place in you, which is wanting to project your your being onto this world and reminding yourself that you are a gift to others. You truly are a gift to those around you. And if you could just see yourself in that light and understand that it's not just about you and what it is that you, is worrying you right now, that is um, that from which you're making your decisions, but rather that you are a, you, your contribution to the world to those around you, to those who love you and those who respect you and are inspired by you is as valid as the other concerns that you may have. All right. So let me know if that resonates with you or not. I'd be curious to hear that or if it's just for one person. <laughs> if it is for one person and you have been listening to this, then do let me know as well. And as we come to the end of the the month, um, it's, it says here, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. And I feel here that these cards are talking about you just letting go and taking and allowing yourself to enjoy life for a minute and then deciding later what you need to do. As you come here to the end of the month, you can make a decision as to how to move ahead at the end of the month. You can let these this time be suspended and just do what you need to do. And then at the end of the month, you can make a decision as to the direction that you need to move into. I think that um, regardless of whatever is going on in your life right now, it does appear that there might have been a degree of stress that you've faced recently, which has left to you feeling overwhelmed and or it could lead to you feeling overwhelmed. And that is the reason that the advice is to make your decisions perhaps at a later point. Oh, if you are making your, deci your decisions, just recognize your intuition. Listen to what that intuition is saying to you and how it might inform your decision. And not just ignore that because here in this card, it does speak of something that's underlying, something that's running all through here that's actually underlying a decision that needs to be made. You know, perhaps you need to implement something in your routine that's slightly different. Perhaps you need to integrate a certain form of movement or a certain activity in your life that's going to actually suggest well-being and and improvement and progress in your life and that you haven't been able to make that infusion in, in your life as yet. So there is that bit there. Um, but it feels like the energy starts off quite flat. And then it's like you are trying to scavenge almost for the last bit of energy that you can get. And then it's like you hit this wall where you're saying, okay, you know what, it's enough. I'm going to be able to see the lighter side of this. I'm going to just take it one day at a time. I'm going to work on this and I, it's going to be okay. I don't have to take this so seriously. And then you come up with all the different solutions that you can actually access as a result of using your intuition and letting your intuition guide you as to the decision that needs to be made. Now, not all of you will be making a decision at the end of May, come the end of May, but I do believe for those of you who've chosen option number two or a year, 
it you might be presented with a decision that needs to be made. I also feel that you might in the month of May, you might come into some kind of information or some kind of unknown, um, something that was unknown to you becomes known to you. And there's a decision that needs to be made as a result of that. I think that you might feel that you're moving in a particular direction and that it's been very draining and it's been very uh, frustrating. It might be literally something that you've wanted for the longest time. But as you do it, there are so many uh, difficulties or challenges or heartbreaks even at some moment that you feel that or something is telling you that if you get there or you do this thing that you've been meaning to do, that you're actually going to find yourself unhappy or you're going to find yourself in a situation that's worse off than the situation that you've been in. So I feel like your intuition is guiding you as far as that is concerned in order to warn you perhaps and also to give you the option of making another decision. All right, if you are able to do that. So I'm going to leave it there and uh, do let me know how this resonates with you. And if it does resonate with you as you go through the month of May, I would love to know how this plays out for each one of you, because there are such different messages in here. And as I said, not all of the options that I've given would resonate with every single one of you. I don't think anyway. Um, but it definitely does depend on how you look at it. All right. I'm wishing you all the best and many, many blessings in the month of May. Have a wonderful month. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, the cards we're using, uh, the deck we're using is called Trust Your Vibes. And we are asking, what is our monthly Oracle card guidance for the month of May 2023? Oh, well, these cards are really wonderfully colorful. And for those of you who've chosen option number three, we're asking what is our Oracle card guidance for the month of May 2023? And the way in which I am reading these cards is in a chronological order. So week one of May, week two, week three, week four. However, some of these messages may actually resonate for you in uh, at, throughout the month or they may resonate with you at a different time of the month if they do okay so I feel like as you start of the month of May it's almost like you're at a loss in a certain way I mean spiritually like I don't feel like you might have everything things might be going really well for you everything might be moving along okay um or the things at least that are important to you might be moving along okay and even if they're not I feel like the um the emptiness if there is an emptiness or the the kind of um, the thing that's missing is actually you taking care of your spirit, you taking care of yourself, you giving yourself enough time. And so the cards here, the first card is asking you to ask, call on your angels to call for help if you need it. Call for help in all your endeavors so that you can actually take action that's going to be fitting for you, for your current state of well-being, for your current state of health, your current physical state, your current mental, emotional and spiritual state. Ask for the guidance that is necessary. Take time to pray. Take time to connect with your your guides. Take time to connect with the angels. Take time to connect with whatever you identify as a God energy or a, or a universal consciousness and work on that. Ask for the assistance that's needed and then wait a moment and listen 
to what's coming through to you. I feel like as we start off in May, you're at a loss for how to go about things, for how to be able to get the energy that you need to do certain things or how to give yourself what it is that you need. You might be feeling quite overwhelmed, perhaps because of the kind of space that you're in or because of certain spaces or certain people that you might be uh, subjected to or you might be forced to be in this, in a similar environment with or perhaps you need to do a certain project with some a group of people and you don't really w- feel well with them and that's just an example by the way and so the advice is to call on your angels to give you the strength to do what it is that you need to do but also call on your angels to ask you for what is the right thing to do for yourself so that you can actually give yourself what you need to give yourself and as you enter the second week I feel like the guidance part of the guidance that you are going to get is to feed your spirit you are going to be guided in the direction of feeding your spirit, of giving yourself what it is that you need in order to be able to go ahead, in order to feel not at a loss, in order to feed yourself. It's like I'm seeing somebody sitting there and they have all these glasses in front of them, each representing a different aspect of their lives and each of them are almost empty. And it's like you've got to sit there and you've got to do whatever it takes to fill these glasses so that you are feeling loved enough, you feeling like you have enough time, you feeling like you have enough financial well-being, you feeling like you have enough um, time for you to connect to your, your the spirit world, um, that you feeling like you have enough time to connect to what is important to yourself. I feel like this is so important for those of you who've chosen this uh, option here, like. It's really important for you to do that. And I think the greatest gift you can give yourself in the second week of May is to be able to connect to yourself. It is to connect with nature, to connect to the spirit world, to connect in whichever way you need to, um, perhaps through motion, uh, through some form of uh, walking uh, in, in nature, or perhaps doing something like yoga or doing something like using mudras, something you can use that or perhaps do something creative, but whatever it is that you do, which will be personal and resonate just with you only, this is something that you absolutely need to give yourself the time to do and the time to enjoy so that you can fill up your jars because I'm feeling like you are feeling at a loss, as I said, and depleted. Now, this might not actually Um, be the case for every one of you. For some of you, it might just be that it's just been very busy and you need to call on your angels to ask for advice with regard to something at work. And then you need to take some time off to perhaps have a massage or, or have some time to connect to your spirit. It might just be something like that. But for some others of you, it might be that you are actually at a loss and that you do need to spend time dedicated to being in touch with water, the water spirit, the earth spirit, you know, and just being able to feed yourself. Okay. And I feel like as you come out of that, it's like you burnt out. That's the energy I'm getting here. There's a burnt out energy here and that you, that I'm getting. And you, as you come through the second week of May into the third week of May, you're going to be asking yourself, what is it that I want for my life? And what is it that I love? And what is the pathway or the direction I need to take in my life right now? Because this is going to come up for you. I feel in a way that you've been so busy or you've been doing something that's completely depleted you in some kind of way. And as you're able to fill your jars up again, you know, as you're able to fill yourself up again, you're going to be able to ask yourself, what is it that I love? What is it that I need to do in my life to help me be happy every day of my life so that I, I'm not in the situation again where I need to call my angels and where I need to take time to feed my spirit. How is it that I can feed my spirit every day so that I can actually move ahead in my life and prosper in my life? And how is it that I can do that? And what is it that I love to do that is really what I desire And you don't have to think about how it's going to be possible, but just to identify what it is that you love is so important. Okay. And so I feel like for you, 
May is going to be quite a spiritual month, especially the first three weeks of May, because it's very much about you getting in touch with yourself again. It's about you being able to connect to spirit. It's about you being able to work on that level. It's about understanding what it is that is important to you and who it is that you are and and what it is that you are okay and then as we come to the end of may you might want to reach out to certain people but this process here in may has changed you and perhaps all your experiences until now has changed you and so when you want to meet with certain people at the end of may and you want to connect with them in a certain way they might find you a little bit different from what you have been so don't take it personally if they respond to you in a way that is not what you were expecting okay everyone's in their own reality everyone's going through their own stuff things are not always easy for people you don't need to take it on you and think that it's because of you that people or certain person has reacted a certain way all right so just bear that in mind as you come to the end of may it's not something that you need to take on to yourself and as soon as you understand that and you're able to let go of that, then you just can be free, you know, give to that person back what they've given to you. You don't need to take it on. You don't need to ask yourself why have they behaved that way? What, what led to them behaving that way? That's just sharing their load. Just leave them with their stuff and they'll work through it. And you work through your stuff and you stay with your spirit and what it is that you love. And you give yourself what it is that you need by asking for help from your angels. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that I'm reading here for you for the month of May. I think it's quite one sided in a way like compared to the option two, which was really all over the place in a certain way. But here it's very clear that you what you need to do is take time out you need to ask for help you need to feed your spirit and you need to do what you love and you need to not actually take it on to yourself or not care too much about what others are going to be doing or saying as you come to the end of the month all right so anyway or even at the second week of the month for some of you it might resonate in that way so i'm gonna leave that with you and i hope that that's been an accurate representation and the guidance that you need for the month of may and i hope that really helps you and i'm wishing you all a very blessed month of may enjoy it and be blessed and blessings abound from kismet rising <music>